Hi everyone, it's Leona from Leona's Designs, back with day 17 of the 100 Day Project. And today I'm going to be making little flowers. I saw this morning Pam at the Paper Outpost video on making these little easy paper flowers. And I thought I'd give it a try. And they are really easy. And they're really cute. And she can probably show you better than me how to do it. So I'm just going to do one and let you see what you think. And then I'm also going to link her video in the description box below. These were made out of a book page that she was showing. And this one I made out of a hymnal. Uh, music page. So I thought I would try making one out of some wrapping paper I had. This is leftover wrapping paper from Christmas. So I'm going to try doing that. And how she showed us was you need a two inch punch and a one inch punch. And if you don't have punches in those sizes, just use whatever you have on hand to draw a circle. You're going to need four two inch circles and one one inch circle. And you can use, you know, a glass bottom of a glass or any container to measure your circles. But you're going to need four two inch and one one inch. So I'm going to punch out four two inch circles out of this wrapping paper. Oops, got the edge on that one. And you see how it works with wrapping paper. I really liked how it worked with the book pages and the um, music page. Okay, so I got my four two inch circles. And now I just need one one inch circle. Which I think I will cut out of something else. Just cut it out of this piece of book page. Okay, now what you need to do is you fold these in fourths. Fold the two inch circles in fourths. I just, I'm seeing a lot of videos on YouTube about making little easy flowers. I saw another one by Scrimpy Mommy, how to make some easy little teddy flowers. So I'm going to have to try that one. Just love these little flowers that they can fit right on a journal page or on a journal cover. So once you've got these folded, then you need to <clears throat> cut the top in a roughly edge. Pam used a regular scissors and just kind of cut the edge randomly. I used my um, decorative scissors to cut the edge. Just so you got kind of a little ruffled edge. You can do all four that way. Trying to 
keep them all the same size. And then on the book pages and the hymnal pages, um, I distress them with distressed ink, but I'm not going to do that with these because you know they're kind of it's it's wrapping paper. It's kind of glossy, so I'm just going to leave it. And then what you need to do is glue the sides together. These two sides, oops. Glue these two sides together. Just the two sides. On each one. Then once those are glued together, take your one inch circle and we're going to glue them to the one inch circle. But before you do that, you kind of kind of Try to crinkle them up at the top. Kind of smush them around and crinkle them. You know, you could probably use a, a pen or something to try to roll them. Let's see if I got something here. Kind of big. Try doing it with this. Just kind of crinkling them. I think that's kind of big too. Let's see if this works better. S something to kind of crinkle the edge. that after they're glued on too. Like I did with this one. Kind of scrunched up the edges, crinkled them. So now I will put some glue on the one inch circle. to glue them across from each other on each side. Now we can kind of crunch them up a little more. Make them look a little more like flower petals. I don't have anything thin enough to roll them, but if you have a little um, skewer stick, that would probably work. some gauze and I'm she had a some kind of gem I'm gonna glue a button with a gem Not sure if the white one would look better 
think the red one looks better. So I'm gonna glue this gauze down. A little too much, I think. Glue the button down. Glue this little gem down. And there we have a little easy flower. And what Pam did also to make it a little more dimensional, she used um, a pen or some kind of a stable marker, I think, to draw lines signifying the petals, which I did on one of them. On this book page one, I did that. I didn't do it on my music page one. I just left it blank. And I don't think I'm going to do it on this one. But now let's see what it looks like on their journal pages. Okay, my glue here. <clears throat> so I think they are a nice addition to a journal page. They lay pretty flat. They go in the corner. They could go in the middle on a belly band. They could go on the side. Um, they could go yeah, on a pocket. It's a really cute idea. They're easy to do. Good way to use up book pages or music pages or wrapping paper. So I hope you'll go check out Pam at the Paper Outs Post video and see how she creates them. And I hope I inspired you to try it yourself. Have a great day and I hope to see you tomorrow.